Good morning. This is Larry Moore, and I'm coming to you as a member of the Bishop Nominating Committee representing the Church of the Advent. The Bishop Nominating Committee is prayerfully preparing for the presentation of a slate of four to six candidates for the Ninth Bishop of the Upper Diocese of South Carolina. The focus of our discernment has been matching the profile of the Upper Diocese of South Carolina with the candidates. So I'm going to refer now to the profile, which is found on the diocesan website, which is edusc.org. The survey results show that we value relationships within our worship communities and that involvement in mission and ministry of the church is vital to ongoing engagement in practicing our faith. The majority of the respondents to the survey were over the age of 60, white, and have been involved in this diocese for over 20 years. Intertwined with this lack of diversity is a diversity of thought from conservative to liberal in worship style from Anglo-Catholic to contemporary. Differences are present and yet there is a strong desire to be a diocese together, united in our mission to share the gospel and our love of Episcopal liturgy and worship. The results of the survey frame the following challenges and opportunities for the Upper Diocese of South Carolina. A challenge is that 55% of lay respondents to the survey reported no involvement in the diocese, even though they are active in their parish. So our challenge is to weave together shared ministry and strengthen relationships between the people and the diocese. Our challenge is to examine the role of the diaconate in our diocese, raise up people for the diaconate, and support current deacons in their vocation and ministry. Our challenge is to bring diversity of age, race, and gender into the ranks of our mostly white male clergy and our mostly white and aging congregations, and to welcome diversity into the life and leadership of our parishes and dioceses. We have challenges of attendance and diminished finances due to COVID-19. This is a common theme in our survey. So our challenge is to find a new way a new and creative way to engage with each other. So what are the opportunities from the survey? Well, obviously we have the opportunity to build on new and previously unimagined ministries discovered and implemented in response to COVID-19 and to harness the energy of innovation and technology. Many respondents to the survey indicated a commitment to youth and young adult ministry is vital to the long-term health of our diocese. We have the opportunity to build up our youth and young adults and encourage them in their involvement in ministry and exploration of faith. We have the opportunity to live up, lift up the Bishop Gravit Conference Center as a center for spirituality for people in this diocese. And we have the opportunity to elect a bishop who will share ministry with us, be in the midst of us, laugh with us, eat with us, teach us, and solve problems alongside us. So what are some of the characteristics and qualities, expectations that came about as a result of the survey? One is our bishop will be a faithful pastor who demonstrates kindness, one who models compassion towards each according to his needs, both clergy and lay. Our bishop will be a relationship builder who seizes the opportunity to enable others to minister together. Our bishop will be open, approachable, relatable, one who will seek to build on the resilient fabric of hope and possibility in our diocese to include all people in our shared ministry. Our bishop will have the skills and parish experience necessary to effectively utilize the resources gifted to us. Our bishop will have an active presence in the lives of the diocese. We are grateful that each time in the history of our diocese, we have called bishops who were the right person for that season in the church, and we fully believe that God is calling our next bishop 
to continue that tradition. These skills will be important in fulfilling that call. If you follow along with the timeline, you see that we are in the uh, stage where we've been reviewing materials, references, and deducting interviews. Once the nomination and application process was passed, committee members were able to begin reviewing applications. We met in person in March to carefully evaluate each candidate's application, applications received from across the United States. After prayerful discernment, the decision was made to narrow the strong candidate pool. In March, teams of committee members began interviewing the continuing candidates, checking references, reviewing sermons, publications, and social media in pre preparation for further assignment. In May, we continued with the Zoom interviews and candidate conversations allowed us to weave together a sense of knowing each other without being physically together. Candidates created videos to introduce us to their current ministries and surroundings. And based on these steps, we decided which candidates would move forward to be invited to the retreat. We asked for your prayers and we're thankful for them for our retreat that was June 17th, 18th, and 19th held at Camp Gravit. We were greatly encouraged by the candidates that came to re retreat. Our time with the candidates allowed us to share sacred time in a place near and dear to many of us. We gave thanks for the opportunity to be in community with the candidates at Camp Gravit. We talked, asked questions, worshiped, reflected, played, and prayed together. We stood together on a holy ground. It was indeed a gift. With the completion of the retreat, the nominating committee entered a period of deep discernment so that we might faithfully prepare a final slate of four to six candidates for the approval of the standing committee. We are scheduled to meet with them on August 14th to recommend the slate. As he has in the past, we are confident that God will call and prepare the right person for this season in the life of our diocese. Our time with the candidates reinforced what a highly qualified and able group they are. We ask your continued prayers as we move into final and perhaps most difficult phase of our work. Thank you.